Okay. What is up? That was a riff of the day, or sorry, the daily riff with Marv. That song is sick. He sends me that shit, and I'm just like, yo, let's make that a song. Immediately, let's make that a song. But we can't, because we're not allowed to be within fucking six feet of each other, and it's really hard to write music when you can't be within six feet of each other. <sighs> what day is it? What year is it? What is going on right now? Does anybody know? Don't act like you do, because you fucking don't. Holy shit, man. Let's see what y'all are saying. Oh, we got people from Dublin. Kevin O'Toole from Dublin. What's up, everybody? This is Quarantine Hangs Episode 4. I'm going crazy. Is everybody going crazy? We got a lot of people in here right off the bat. Dave Madwick, Angelo Pelizato. That's a sick last name, man. Is that how you say that? Pelizato. Rocklahoma bitches. Kevin O'Toole, Dan Faller, Eric Bacos, Anna Clark, Liv Johnston. Hey, what's going on, Liv? Ah, uh, Gary Puente. What? Puente. Roman Poulet, Roland Williams, AJ Mogg. What's going on, everybody? What's up from England? John Fenwick, have I got a surprise for you? We've got an actual 100% fully authentic English bloke on the show today. Tom Bagley, our tour manager slash tour manager to the stars, is going to be on today. He hates, I'm not even allowed to talk about what bands he tour manages because he, he hates, he hates like trying to, he hates when it gets put in like the cool guy light. Like, he just wants to be, he's like a proper tour manager who just wants to be behind the scenes, getting shit done, and just being invisible. And uh, he's fucking wicked at it. He does a great job for us. And uh, he doesn't do interviews, and he doesn't do live streams. And the fact that he doesn't want to come on the fucking show today is why I wanted to get him. So I know many of you maybe don't know who Tom Bagley is, but you fucking need to know. So you're going to know today. That's all I got to say about that. The content I wanted to play today, I, I, uh, I've been learning to do a test run of the content before I come live and get copyright fucking blocked up the ass like every single goddamn time. Even when I play our own goddamn songs, I get copyrighted. So I'm fucking sick of this shit and I've been testing it out on an unlisted stream ahead of time to see if I'm able to get copyright blocked. And guess what? The shit I wanted to play for you guys today was going to get fucking copyright blocked. So I'm like, I can't play it. It was a fucking wonderfully cute video of a black footed cat which is about a two pound cat wild cat it fucking runs through the fucking grassland and just rips birds out of the air it looks like the cutest little kitten in the world but it mauls things like it's a fucking demon from hell i was gonna play that for you but i can't because pps will fucking knock on my front door and fucking break my kneecaps so fuck that footage if you guys got any videos if anyone if you guys any of you are in bands that maybe I'll, I'll fucking spin it right now maybe we'll fucking play some content from you guys this is about you guys anyways i'm trying to put some shit together while we can't play shows while we can't tour while we can't do a goddamn thing we're coming live and we're talking to you guys so if you got any any content just give me the title on the platform and maybe i'll uh, search it up on the old uh on the old on the old computer over here and get it all all done up for you I'm just going to uh, get rid of that. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, get some comments here. Ron Chamberlain. Tom Bagley rocks. Are you a buddy of Tom Bagley? I, Tom Bagley, he warned me that he's going to have some of his friends in the comments today. I wonder if they're going to be fucking chirping me. I hope so. There's not enough chirping going on. Everyone's being way too nice in the comments. I'm looking for some. If you guys want to get it on in, in here, we can do it. You can just say whatever you want. This is your time. We got to find something to do with all this goddamn downtime. If it means shit talking Jerry on the internet, let's do it. Long live rock and roll, Sir, Sir Perry Valentine. What is with the names today? You guys got the fucking best names. Sir Perry Valentine, is that your real fucking name? That is a wicked name. Fist of Rage. 
Rising Souls from Edinburgh. Check them out. Rising Souls from Edinburgh. 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 Oh, can I actually click? I can't click the link because I'm using the computer I'm using to play video. That's why I need the title because I can't click. Uh, the, the thing that's doing the streaming isn't doing the video playback. So if you want me to do something, I have to get the title and search it in real quick. And I got fingers of fire. I can fucking type in real fast. Sarah Odell Barlow says, saw you at Absinthe. Amazing. I was actually going to play a video from Absinthe, but I ended up going with a video from the St. Hollywood instead. Maybe we should play that. This is an old, old video. And there's something very interesting about this video that I want to mention, which is that it's one of like two or three shows ever where Steve didn't play drums. Steve was on tour in another band called The Reason. We had a couple shows lined up and we needed someone to come in and fill drums for us. And our friend Nick Dalio came in and played drums for us. So maybe we should just watch that because it's an old ass clip. I think it's from 2009. Um, this is a song called Death Mistake, which is on an independent release, which won't get copyright blocked by the fucking whoever's sitting in the fucking matrix, making sure that I can't play cool shit for you guys. Um, but yeah, let's just spin that up now because this is an oldie and a goodie. And it's a little weird because it's uh, not Steve Flan drums, which is awkward, but also kind of neat because it only happened like one or two times. Here we go. When Nick's there, ready. God's ready. That was fun, right? <laughs> this ain't Hollywood. Uh, death mistake. I was, uh, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was like a weird, weird, weird time for the band. We were uh, getting used to um, having people come to the shows, so that was that was an adjustment back then. Um, let's see here. If the feed is hanging, it's only hanging on your side. So you got to check your internet. I know everyone's internet's been fucking bogged down lately. Um, just because everyone's on the fucking internet. And that's flicks and they're fucking goddamn watching fucking Tiger King 
on fucking repeat. How about that show, eh? Tiger King? Holy fuck. I know, like, everyone's, like, it's already people are sick of it because it's been, like, it's been, um, I don't know, like a week and everyone's watched it, like, just fucking binged it, but holy shit, that is a fucked up, fucked up show. Uh, I'm just going to go through some of these comments real quick. Um, Dirty Honey. I do like Dirty Honey. I'm pretty sure, I'm, I hope I'm thinking of the right band. I think... They opened for Rival Sons when I went and saw them at the Danforth in Toronto. I don't know if that's right or not. It could be in a different band. They're sick too, though. My 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 brain does not work. I have to like I I have to make up for it in other ways because I can't remember shit. Uh, I flicked a pick at your head at Wembley Arena. See, that doesn't sound like me. I don't do a lot of pick flicking. So if you if I actually did flick a pick at you, that was like one of like five times I've ever done that because I fucking for some reason I just don't like doing. First of all, I use like really good picks. And I don't have like a pick endorsement really. So I like, I don't, I'm not in a big mood to be chucking fucking dollar picks into the crowd. So if you got one, then that's a, I guess kind of a rare thing. I don't like doing that shit. So there you go. Uh, I think we're going to get, get Tom Begley on the line here and get his perspective on the world right now. And that's something that I've always enjoyed about him is getting his perspective on the world because it lines up with mind in a lot of ways. A lot of the times I won't really go too deep into that until I get him on here. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm just checking all this. I'm just checking all the comments here. Garrett Patton, did you tune into Stream Eight on Saturday? I didn't. I don't even know what that is. It's a blue pick. Oh, so okay, Stuart. It's a blue pick. That's Marv's pick. Marv actually. See, we did get a shit ton of picks from Jim Dunlop that were like for merch and stuff. But Marv actually liked his and used his. And so I think you might be thinking of Marv because Marv has a lot of picks and he does. He doesn't flick them. He's not a pick flicker either. So I don't know if he did that, but. We, sometimes we thought we toss them out. I don't know. I know you guys like to grab picks. I used to when I was going to shows. Um, but yeah, let's get Tom Bagley on the line. I'm pretty sure he's in Sheffield, lovely Sheffield, UK. Um, I'm going to give him a little wrinkle dingle here. Oh, Bagley. Oh, Bagley. Oh, Bagley. If he's not ready, if he's not ready, I'm going to fucking flip out. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious, Bags? Not available for FaceTime, eh? How did I know this was going to happen? Guy can organize 14 people traveling from six different countries with fucking gear coming from Croatia, and he can't answer a goddamn FaceTime when I told him I was going to call him exactly this time. Fucking guy. Oh my God, Bagley. Oh my God, Begley. Don't you fucking do it, Begley. Wow. I'm going to have to text Begley. I can't believe he's not fucking ready. I did a test call with him an hour ago. I told him I was going to hit him up. Let's see what he says. He's, he's texting me right now. Let's see what he says. You're calling my phone. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, because you texted me from your phone, you wank. It's my fault. It's my fault my fault he has two goddamn he's got two goddamn things there we go oh here we go there we go oh see that's my fault hi jeremy hi tom how are you doing all right man no how yeah. are you doing actually though because <clears throat> this whole thing is gonna be gotta be fucking killing you oh yeah it's rubbish uh well thank you for giving me something to get dressed for today yeah you put he, uh, he put pants on everybody and cut my hair. I didn't shower. No, I didn't put pants on. He, he said you went to get ready. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Can't you tell? Look at my hair. It's beautiful. I'm doing all right. I've actually had a month's practice at sitting at home in my apartment, so it's kind of lucky, really. But when I was doing that, I could go out and do other things as opposed to just sit in my apartment. So I guess the practice was good, but I am definitely bored. How all. are you feeding yourself? Because I know you don't cook. No, I do now. Apparently. Oh, what you, we discovered. Is this just we like discovered? Is this beans? Yeah. Are we making beans on this on toast? No, dude. Everyone's bought the beans in England. There is no beans to buy. Oh. If you want to buy if you want to buy beans or Branson pickle at the moment, you're shit out of luck. England was already shit for food. It must just be fucking. You guys must be eating fucking. What are you eating? I'm eating all right, mate. I've discovered what a pizza bagel is. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Those are good. I mean, it's it's not gourmet shit, but it is. I can definitely feed myself. Thank God. Leave it We're to good. leave it to the UK to fucking get rid of all the beans before the pizza bagels. 
Yeah, they literally they went first day, I think. To be honest, that and that and uh, tin tomatoes, big big fans, people of those things, apparently. Yeah. Uh, so how so, are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fine. You know me. I I fucking I love. I, I mean, I it was it playing was, Xbox. Playing Xbox. The thing is, is that it was easier before. It's been a two weeks now, and I'm starting to lose my mind a bit. I, <laughs> Look at my place. Like, it's just like a dark cave. What are you drinking red wine? That's right. I guess it's like eight o'clock there. It's it's wine time. Uh, yeah. I thought it might be look intellectual. Is that is that rider? Is that a, a rider item from our fucking lockup? Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I drank that. You I drank the Hennessy, actually. I took a bottle of Hennessy off the bus after that purple tour, and I've just finished it. Really? <laughs> it's gross as fuck. Yeah, I don't know. People fucking... It, it, the hip-hop scene loves Hennessy. Ugh. They sing about it all the time. Shit is nasty, dude. It took ages to drink that, gross. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I had these questions. I don't even want to ask them. I just want to know. Oh, I just no. just to fill in. I just want to. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't worry. I just want to fill in some people who don't know. Because okay, so just to let everybody know, Tom is so everybody. Uh, Tom is our tour manager. The first tour that you went on with us was the Nickelback tour in Australia. Yeah. Which, correct. as far as first tours go, it was fucking awesome. Pretty weird. Well, yeah, yeah, but dude, we were. Flying. You guys were so. D- Tell yeah, t- tell the so people different. what we were like. Tell yeah, we were so different as what as human beings. So drunk. So drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I flew. I first met you in the lobby of that hotel in Melbourne. All of you at once. Yeah. Just, oh yes. Uh, Steve. Remember? Oh yes. Yeah, Steve you- got so drunk. And you and Kaplinski, you were all smashed the whole tour. Yeah. Well, it was an easy but, yeah, tour. We had to play for like a half an hour every three days. Yeah. And we were flying to every was, show. It was like the fucking cushiest shit of all time. I think Mitchell had been hyping it for about two weeks before then. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, he was like, oh, yeah, it turns out that is happening. I'm hoping you're up for it. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. It was a lot like of 11 days notice or something, wasn't it? I think. Yeah. Well, and then yeah, the, was, the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. so. When did exactly you that. when did you first start tour managing is what I want to know because I actually don't even know the answer to that. Neither do I really. I mean I was doing it by I was doing it in my own band before I even realized so I don't know a long time I guess properly you, 2010 I guess. You're I, depend, I don't really know what point I started calling myself a tour manager as opposed to just a merch guy that did extra stuff. Yeah, well eventually you had to get paid for it but do you you still tour manage Bosk? <laughs> yeah, you kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah do I yes definitely yeah so they love it they yeah love of course it. they love it. I, love it I would love it I would love it uh so Tom is in a band called Bosk um which is kind of like you guys you guys don't take it super seriously you fit shows in when you can you put out albums when you can you're in the middle of doing your second full-length record right now and you sent me a couple songs mm-hmm. early mixes and stuff sounds awesome what are you gonna do if Bosk blows up a little bit and like <laughs> It could happen. Be, su- be surprised. Yeah, well, you Come could, on, no, dude. I I was surprised when fucking I was surprised when Monster Truck blew up. Yeah. Well, it's got to blow up pretty hard in order for for it to sustain all five people. So I'm fully, but that's the thing. Like I'm fully aware of what the actual cost of doing that is, as opposed to if it was just a band going, yeah, yeah, we can do this all the time. Yeah, we can do this all the time. I'm like, uh, no, we can't. Like the financial side of yeah, that. Yeah, but what I if it? What, well. But what if it could though? What if that happened? Oh, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do it. All the time, nah. I, being in a band sucks mostly. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm trying to just. Do, I'm trying to just. I'm trying to just do selectively the bits that are worth doing. Put it that way. Oh, okay. Well, you you're... know what I mean. I don't want to. We've been doing this a long time. No one's in. I mean, I'm Rob, our guitar player, is dying to do it all the time. I don't think any of us are actually dying to be doing that all the time. Like we've done that kind of when we were younger. We don't really want to do that anyway. Yeah. Well, Even if it did blow up, we'd still be more selective probably actually. Well, I do know the feeling, um, but I, I do want to send, yeah, some, no, I do no want to send some people to be in a full-time band. Ah. I'm, I'm still going to send some people there. If you, if you want to check out Tom's band, it's what's the, what's the website? It doesn't oh, it's matter. Actually down for, it's down for maintenance. Whatever. <laughs> Spotify, hit Spotify, Bosk. Bosk. It's B O S S K. I've got, I think I've yeah. written it all over the place here. Um, let's get into some funny stuff or at least some, some light stuff here for the, uh, for yeah. the top, for the time. Um, what, what makes the perfect ramen? Not me. <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom goes on a hunt question. basically every single day for fucking ramen. Okay. So he's like, is one of his favorite things to eat on tour. What makes, good ramen? What makes the best thing? Like, what is it? But the broth, the noodles, is yeah, all the, the broth, things. Things the Broth, broth. 
Just all of it together. Yeah. Because you, no, you post, you should have a fucking better answer for this because you post photos I of should, ramen right. every fucking, see, you probably haven't had one in like a couple of weeks now. It's going to be a while for you. Yeah, I know. Well, I've learned, I can sort of make shoddy ramen at home, kind of. Yeah, everyone can. They take the noodles out of the bag, they boil the water, throw the packet in, yeah. and you're fucking, you're <laughs> laughing. Know, yeah. It's not Gordon Ramsay shit, to be fair, but yeah. Okay. Uh, good broth, good broth. That's the best. Thing. I like the noodle when the noodles are legit too, because like I've got some in my fridge that are legit, and it's like you can put them in fucking hot water and they're de- they're tasty. So they're so I don't know. Brand, I'm, yeah, I'm figuring it out myself. Brandon took me to this place in Hamilton that he had been telling me about for about two years that does the hand pulled noodle things. Yeah, oh, noodle. That, it's called it? Noodle Me. Yeah, that, noodle yeah, me. that was fucking, very impressed. It's fucking awesome. That place is yeah. awesome. I've only been once. Nick Ball took me. He was like, yeah. oh, we're going for lunch. He took me there. It, the place looks like shit. It's one of those places you walk in yeah. and you're like, you're like, uh, are we eating here? And then you get the food. But it was there. really good. Yeah. yeah I really thought we'd gone to the, I thought we'd gone to the wrong place. Yeah. Um, keep, yes. keep keeping it on the food tip here. Let's say you hadn't eaten in a week. Let's say you, you were sick as a dog and, yeah. uh, all of a sudden you're in a USA food court with every fast food place <laughs> in, in America around yeah, you. Okay. Cause Tom loves, Ooh. Tom loves fucking USA fast food. Like more than oh, ramen yeah. in fact so yeah, if you yeah. if you had it what's the best one what's the number one like fast food for bagley i know i, I knew this would be a tough one i knew this was going to be a tough one i really like del taco really yeah the sat this the but they're not everywhere they're, del they're taco. Hard as well. dude it's good you know so what i was good. gonna do oh. i was gonna write down what i thought the answer was in an envelope and seal it so that is waffle is waffle house on there it was gonna be it was going to be Waffle House and in oh, and in and out. In and in and out, yeah, yeah probably. I, I could eat all of those every day for a week. Easy, <laughs> no problem. Uh, okay, so you have to get rid of one of these bands forever. Oh, and, good. It, and and their entire catalog, and you can never fucking listen to them ever again. Would it be? And, oh. and it has to be one of these two: Pink Floyd or Tool. <laughs> or Gone Forever. Yeah, gone forever, and you don't get to listen to them ever again, and you don't get the memory of listening to them. They're just well, basically, yeah, gonna, it's like it's like the it, MIB like fucking laser beam eyeball thing where you just forget that they ever existed. Pink Floyd or Tool, which one are you gonna get rid of? Is it like that Be- Beatles movie where nobody else knows but I do? No, no, it means oh, so no. They're gone from your gone life forever. forever. Oh, all right, sorry, Pink. Ah, oh, Pink Floyd. No, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. I knew it was going to be Pink Floyd. I was going to put you in a tough spot and make you say that you yeah, kill Pink Floyd yeah. and keep it's Tool. Of album, album by album ratio. I like more <laughs> albums by Tool than I like by Pink Floyd. There we go. Oh man, but that was that was that was a rough one. I knew that was a rough one. Uh. Well, thanks for coming on even briefly here. This it's good for people to know the man, the man, the myth, Tom Bagley. Even though you never get seen, there's a bunch of people in the comments here that are thanking you for putting for just being nice to them, putting an album aside for them till the end of the show and uh, just generally being a good dude. What do you, oh, what I are much you, appreciate what that. What are you trying to look through the screen for? Have you never done a FaceTime I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to look around your apartment, mate. I you thought it was one of those VR moments. No, it's not. There's nothing, this, this is my, I have a house. I have a, 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 an apartment sized house and there's nothing going on. Uh, I know, I've been, I've been to your house. It's very nice. Oh yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's just, it's a, it's, 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 it's tiny. I'm going, to be, I'm going to be evicted in fucking a month if I can't figure out, if I can't get some of that government money that Trudeau's no, given not, away. No, you're not going to get evicted, mate. Don't worry. They've got a long list and you, your name begins with W. You're at the bottom. <laughs> you won't get, are, 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 they they giving, are you giving out any money in the UK? Are you going to get any free money? Uh, in June, yeah. I wouldn't call it free. <laughs> it's definitely not free money. Dude, they're, in a fucking, they're in the mint in Winnipeg just printing money right now for everybody. Oh yeah, I mean, can we? Have, I mean, I don't know, man. To be honest, fuck knows. I am not an expert. Uh, it's going to be bad till June, at least. Do you have any tours booked for the rest of the year right now, or is everything on hold? Because everything's on hold for us. We got nothing right now. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> try not to think about it. All right. Uh, no, no. Actually, at the moment, everything is kind of d- fucked. If you're not doing anything, I'm kind of half screwed already. Yeah, I know. All right, we'll, we'll see, brother. Everyone's getting fucked. Anyway, is it th- snowing? Is it snowing in Hamilton? Oh man, it's like fucking. It's starting to turn into spring, dude. Is it? Oh, I'm gonna start lovely. planting the garden soon and put the weed plants in the ground and get the tomatoes popping off. Uh, how, how's Papa Widerman? Papa Widerman's fine. Losing his fucking mind, probably. No, he's fine with this shit. He's like me. He'll just sit in the basement and watch Netflix. He doesn't give a shit. 
I call him and I call him to check on him. I'm like, hey, dad, how's it going? Are you okay? He's like, yeah, what are you talking about? I got my whiskey and I got my shows. I'm like, fuck, fine, dad. That sounds good to are me. They still, are they still playing hockey or no? No. What? Dude, nothing's happening, dude. Are you, you do you not pay attention? Nothing's happening. It might be different in Canada. It might be different in Canada. It's not just Canada. It's America. And America's a shit show. We're fucking, oh, dude, hockey's on hold. They're, they're talking about getting rid of the last, there was like another like 18 games to play or some shit like that. They're going to fucking, they're talking about not playing them, taking everyone who's in the, in the playoffs right now and just doing the playoffs in June or July, if they can do that, even maybe not without a crowd. So is that good? Is that good for your Canadian team? Your Canadians? No, Mike, they're fucking toast. Canadians. I won't see the Canadians play again, probably until <laughs> October, November. It's not funny. Oh man. <laughs> It sucks, Sorry. dude. It's super, super. It's it's like one of the. It's. It, it, I hate to say it. I'm lucky, you know, because if, if the one of the worst things right now is that I can't watch hockey, like there's, you know, this shit's going fucking down everywhere. So you know, I can do without the hockey. I'll get by. They'll do the playoffs in July. Toronto Maple Leafs will and survive. Still lose in the first round of the Bruins. Everything will be everything will be back to normal. Is Mitchell watching this? I don't, I can't tell. I, I I'm I'm streaming to two things at once. I got like three screens. It's hard to tell what's going on. Uh, I'm still figuring out how to do this shit. But I'm pretty it's James, sure. It's, what about James from Cambridge? James, James Cambridge. James from, yeah, he did. He just said, "Hey, a Tom. I'm late, but here." It's funny you asked about him. He just fucking <laughs> Hi, James just from Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> He'll love that. Thanks, Bagley. Uh, my pleasure, brother. Yeah, play that Nintendo. Drink that red wine, and uh, I will. And everyone, check out his band Bosk. They're going to have a new Good record coming you. soon. Good to see you. I was gonna call. Fuck! I meant to call Marvin. Bring Marvin here. Why didn't you? Because I just, I just fucking totally forgot. Just totally forgot. Hold on. Let me actually. Yeah. Let me just see if I. Can, let's see. If he, it. Let's see if he answers real quick. I don't know. Is it, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. No. No. Oh, it is working. How does... Hi. There's no Bagley. But did I lose Bagley on the process of calling you? Probably. Oh, man. That's okay. Well, we can talk to you. I think I just hung up on Bagley. Oh, well, he's <laughs> in England. That was bad. Yeah, that's okay. We had a long talk anyways. I, I forgot that I was even going to bring you into the call so you could say hi to Bagley as well. And then I just, I, I just fucked it all up, so... Well, uh, I had very interesting questions for him, I'm sure. Did you actually? No, you didn't. Oh, no, I was going to wing it. Is, uh, is Jack, is that Jack in the background? Yeah, Jack's here. Can, can we see him or is he, not allowed to be on, to is he not allowed to be on the internet? He can be on the internet. Hey, Jack, do you want to talk to Jer? No. Do you want to talk to Jer? <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. Okay, okay. I haven't seen Jer. him in so long. Okay. Just for a second. Oh yeah, Jack. There he is, haircut and all. Jack, your haircut is awesome. How you doing? How can I see it? How can I see it? How do you mean? How can I see it? I'm using the I'm using the internet, the power of the internet. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. I see lots of videos of you tobogganing. You like tobogganing? Yeah. Well, oh, that's good. This is this is, this interview is going really well. Yeah, he's really uh, he's really focused on the task at hand here. What are you we're trying to watch TV? Am I am I interrupting TV time? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's okay. It's good. Yeah. To see, it's good to see you, Jack. Jack, you say bye to Jer. Bye, Jer. Bye, Jack. I'll hopefully I'll see you in person soon when we're allowed to not be nine hundred feet away from each other. Wipe that mouth. <laughs> no, we're not allowed. We cannot stand nine hundred feet. Uh, 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 away from each other, just, just six, just six. Well, feet aren't up. you smart? It's only six feet. Okay. Right? Well, I'll see you seven feet. I'll see you seven feet away soon, hopefully. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you said enough. Um, thanks for your riff of the day. It was awesome, or daily riff. Sorry. Can you tell? Can you tell everyone what you're doing with CJ and uh, on Wednesday? Oh, I'm doing like a, I don't know. They asked me to do an acoustic kind of performance thing. So I think I'm just going to rip off some stuff, play like five songs, and then I'm going to talk for a while and whatever. I, I guess answer questions. I've never done a Facebook Live, so this is going to be, you know. Yeah, I noticed you're, uh, you're back on Facebook, which was, yeah. I saw that and I was like, holy I shit. I had to. I know. Well, well 
A, because of this Facebook Live thing, and B, because everyone was giving me shit because they're like, well, you're trying to do stuff. You're trying to be, you know, blah, blah, blah. You have to have a Facebook. And I'm like, all right, fine. So everybody kind of, I, I got I got prodded back into it, I guess. Okay, good. Well, I'll uh, put the link up for everybody, um, and he'll be doing songs. Uh, I was hoping to do them with him, but we're staying a bit away from each other, f- f- trying to follow the rules of the land right now. So, uh, anyways, thanks for checking in, Marv. I'm sorry I missed you with. Uh, I'm sorry I missed having you on with Bagley, but uh, I'm still learning. It's okay. I'm still learning how to press the buttons. <laughs> well, you'll get it one day. I know. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you later. All right, see you then. Right. <sighs> I fucked that up. What are you gonna do? Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, thanks for all the messages, everybody. I got another cool video for you guys um of Monster Truck at Sweden Rock. We're gonna go out with that. Um I'm just gonna check out some of these comments here. First time I met Tom in Waterloo, he goes back, says, Some crazy guy just bought one of everything on the merch table. All of MT James. Thanks, bud. America is shut down until the end of April, probably end of May, if we are lucky. Yeah, I know. Kevin King says the Habs are hilarious. They are. They are hilarious. Andrew Taylor says E I H L is done. That's the English Hockey League. We saw a couple English Hockey League games. It was some good hockey. Lots of fighting. All the meanest motherfuckers from Canada were playing in that league, and they're all beating the shit out of each other. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. There you go. Boss is incredible. I've got one, two, and audio noir on vinyl. Fucking right. <laughs> uh, okay, that's it for this. Uh, that's it for this episode. I had some more content for you guys, but it turned out that it was going to get copyright blocked. And I, if that happened one more time, I was just going to take my computer and throw it through the window. So I didn't play it, and uh, that's about it. So right now, we're just going to go to a clip from. Uh, 2016 it was probably one of the best sets best festival sets that we've ever played and there was lots of people uh filming it was like one of those shows that just everything went right um and just i don't know man i I knew it was going to be a great show the day before this happened and then we went out there and we did it so i'm going to play this we're going to go out with that and uh yeah this is black forest in sweden rock 2016 thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll probably see you on Thursday for the next episode. We got some more cool guests coming on, and uh, that's about it for now. Thanks. Bye bye. Pleasure to be here in Sweden. This song's called Black Forest.